back to the channel, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Today we're back in the garage and we're going to do a little modification on a knife that I've had for quite a while. That is the SC Azula. I know it's been out for a long time, but I honestly think it's an alternative to a really popular knife right now that it's getting really hard to find. And this is not a, a complete replacement, but it's a little alternative. So we're going to do a little modification and we're going to paracord wrap the SC Azula and I'm going to turn it into a EDC knife. The record aficionados out there, let me know. This is my first attempt <laughs> at paracording a knife, so let me know what you think in the comments section. We're almost right, done. Guys, here you go. This is my poor man's alternative to the Montana Knife Company Speed Goat. I uh, <laughs> super lightweight, super nice. I love the oxide finish on the SEs. I don't really like the kind of the, you know, the coating that they normally put on them. I like the oxide, um, just personal preference. But yeah, this is my first attempt at paracord and knife, trying to somewhat get it usable. Um, yeah, had this knife for quite a while, but uh, been pretty nice. So yeah, I mean, you can get this for like 80 bucks and paracord wrap it yourself, whatever color you want, and then it comes with this. I have another Kydex sheath for it that's thinner somewhere. I gotta figure out where I stuck it. But anyways, yeah. All right, so let's hop over and sit down and talk a little bit more about this situation. All right, so I actually reached out to Montana Knife Company multiple times over the past couple weeks and was wanting them to at least just put one on hold, not give it to me, just put one on hold for me to purchase full price just to do a review on and get my hands on it. And uh, crickets, they didn't even respond to me, I emailed them three times over, I wanna say like two or three weeks and uh, never heard back from them. So yeah, I don't know, don't make any assumptions. It was a little irritating. If you notice, I've been trying to get the Speed Goat for quite a while to do a review for you guys, because a lot of you guys ask me my opinion. I can't give you an opinion because I don't have the knife, never held it before in my life. But the problem <laughs> the problem is, is soon as they, um, soon as they get released i mean they're sold out within a matter of an hour or two and then you go on ebay and there's just tons of them on ebay i'll put in some photo footage here there's tons of them on ebay and they're going for six seven hundred dollars i've seen some i've seen somebody trying to get sell two of them for over a thousand dollars so the scalpers is out of control and from what i've noticed it's multiple people buying them continually the same time over and over and over and over just price gouging on the secondhand market. I know a lot of people guys are like, hey, you know, I really want a good paracord, super ultra light knife. I would go with the OG Azula, you know, for for under a hundred bucks with the paracord, you know, you can't beat it. I think I paid, originally when I got this, I paid 75 bucks, I think, or something like that. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the same. The blade's gonna be longer, which I think is a little bit more useful. But honestly, if you're wanting something super light, kind of in the realm of what the Speed Goat is marketed as. This is a good alternative and you can get them a dime a dozen, find them all over the steel, you know. Yeah, the Speed Goats have, I think, a little bit better steel than the uh, 1095 with SC, but I'm sorry, there's, there's no mini EDC knife that's gonna be worth seven, $800, especially when they're marking them out. I do wish that Montana Knife Company would at least try to come up with some kind of way to at least curb the the scalping and the price gouging on the secondhand market by, I don't know, maybe just keeping track of what addresses are in the system. And if you have an address that just keeps buying more or limit to like one per person or something, I don't know, figure something out because it, it's really hard to get a knife from them. I've been trying for over a year and uh, I don't know, it just kind of, it turned me off a little bit that they didn't even respond to my emails just asking if I would, if they could just hold one back for me to purchase full full asking price. You know, I wasn't asking for them to give it to the channel. I wasn't asking for a discount. Just strictly, you know, hey, uh, can you guys hold one back for me to purchase? So I can do a review on it. Nothing. Crickets. So, all right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the short little video. Just uh, my little alternative to... Uh, the almost impossible to get Montana Knife Company Speed Goat and uh, save yourself a whole bunch of money if you can and pick up one of these. See you on the next video.
Thank you.